And I'm Dylan Black. You know, a super important event is taking place Saturday, October 13th. It's Charlotte and Teo's Butterfly Run. With us right now, we say hello to Anne-Marie Warren, a co-director of the Butterfly Run. Hello. Hi, how are you? Nice to have you here. I'm good. And uh, Claire Paget as well, another co-director. Nice to have you here. Claire. Hi, nice to be here. So obviously, uh, Anne-Marie, first, before we get to the stories, uh, your stories, individual stories, uh, tell us about this Butterfly Run. Uh, so the Butterfly Run is taking place on uh, October 13th at Carleton University. Uh, it, the opening ceremony started at 8.30 and the run actually starts at 9.30. Uh, it's a run to bring awareness to infertility, pregnancy and infant loss. Uh, to let people know that um, there is a community out there for you if you've suffered one of these losses and that you're not alone. Mm -hmm. um, so the run is just to get the awareness out there and, and let people know. Okay, so obviously you both have stories, and uh, Claire, maybe I'll, I'll start with you. So, so you lost, uh, you lost Teo. Can you yes, tell us your story? yes. Um, my son Teo was born on October 26, 2017. Um, we were so excited to meet him, and unfortunately, he was diagnosed with a congenital diaphragmatic hernia. So he had a hole in his diaphragm. Hmm. Um, we've never heard of, of this condition before, but uh, it's a birth defect that is treatable that can be fixed and is found in one in 2,500 live births and the cause is unknown. Unfortunately, he passed at only eight hours old. Wow, okay. And uh, Anne-Marie, you, you, you obviously have a story? Uh, yeah, so Charlotte was born on September 15th of 2017. Uh, shortly after her delivery, um, she started having seizures and we were transferred to CHEO. Um, and unfortunately, while we were at CHEO, she was diagnosed with a not compatible with life brain injury. Um, so we uh, made the medical choice to remove her breathing tube, and it was expected she would pass away right away. Uh, she didn't. She lived for 37 more days. Mm. Um, and those 37 days we, that we got to spend with her, we lived them out at Roger Nielsen House. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Roger Nielsen House, very important. And then, uh, now, uh, sorry, Claire, Roger Nielsen House as well? Uh, yes. Yeah, we're okay. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us why Roger Nielsen House is so important to our community. Uh, for myself and my husband, Roger Nielsen House is what let us spend time with our daughter. We were able to live there as a family while Charlotte got the medical care that she needed. Um, during her, while she was alive, we were still getting counseling just to kind of understand the process of everything that was happening and what to expect. Uh, since her passing, we've had one-on-one -on -one counseling. Uh, we've been part of a bereavement group where I met Claire mm. and my other sisters. Um, I've been taking part in the monthly bereavement groups, and uh, it's just been, it's been what saved us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Claire, is so is there a, a cost to be a part of this run? Yes. You're hoping to raise money, obviously? Yes, we're yeah. hoping to raise money. All of the proceeds go to Roger Nielsen House to support perinatal programs. And you can register at butterflyrunottawa.ca. Okay. Uh, is there a hope for the amount of money being raised? Because this is the second annual. Yes, butterfly this is run. the second annual butterfly run. We hope that it will continue, and every year we can honor a new baby. Okay. Our new babies. Yes. This year, our goal was twenty-five thousand dollars, and mm -hmm. we've already surpassed that. Oh, that's good. Well, that's good news. Yeah, that's great news. Okay, now besides obviously the money that you're trying to raise, what, what is the, the main uh, message that you're trying to get out to, to, to people who are grieving, perhaps people in the community who don't understand? Uh, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. I had suffered a miscarriage a few years ago and didn't tell anybody mm. because it's something you don't talk about. Not that you need to shout it from the rooftops, but you need to know that you're not alone. There are resources to help you get through it, to talk about it with people, that you're, that with this community coming to the run, you're gonna find other families who have experienced loss mm -hmm. and you can make connections with people, exactly. which is helpful for your, mm -hmm. it was helpful for my grief journey. Yes. So, and I'm guessing, Claire, that's the same yes, for you. Yes, to raise awareness because we don't realize but one in four women will suffer a loss. So, Pretty yeah. tough. Yeah, tough yeah. stuff that you've been both been through, but uh, through tragedy, I mean, you're do, you're doing good. You're doing well. You're going to have a lot of fun on that day. I yes. hope definitely. Yes. yes. All right. Well, more details. Butterfly Run Ottawa. Why butterflies? It's a symbol of transformation. Mm -hmm. It represents all of our butterfly babies gone too soon. Okay. Butterfly Run Ottawa. Ca and Marie and Claire. Thank you very much for being here today. Thank, thank you thank for you having us. And thank you for being here. Have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm Dylan Black. Take care.